Hi, I'm going to be talking about Streptococcus pneumoniae today, which is a bacteria which causes a variety of diseases such as pneumonia, otitis media, which is an ear infection, meningitis, and a few other ailments such as invasive disease and even meningitis. A lot of people don't understand that being vaccinated is very important, and I'm hopefully going to be able to convey the importance of vaccines to you with my demonstration. Streptococcus pneumoniae actually has a very large polysaccharide coat around it, which is a sugar coat. And because of this, the immune system has a very hard time dealing with it. Children under the age of two have an, an immune system which is not fully developed yet, and they have an extre extremely hard time dealing with it. Because of this, Streptococcus pneumoniae is a leading killer uh, of children worldwide. I drew a little picture of the bacteria just so you get the, uh, an understanding of what I mean. So there are over 90 types of Streptococcus pneumonia. Each type is called a serotype. When your body gets infected with one, your body builds, builds an immune response against it. This could possibly take days, days that you might not have. And the point is when you get infected with one type and you actually fight it off successfully, your body forms memory cells. So if you get infected with the same serotype again, your body will actually beat it before it can gain a foothold again. But that doesn't mean you can't get infected with any other serotype. The vaccines themselves, like Prevnar, which is given to children under the age of like around five, has 13 of, of the 90 serotypes. These are the most common serotypes. And Pneumovax, which is given to older individuals, actually c covers 23 of the known serotypes. And what happens when a vaccine is given, the vaccine for pneumococcal infections actually only includes that sugar coat that I was talking about. So the body mounts an immune response against it. You can't get sick from the vaccine, but if the body comes into contact with the real thing, your body has already formed that memory, so it doesn't take days for your body to mount an immune response against it. It simply goes after it, and you will, you'll never even know you had it. Um, and now the following demonstration using eggs, it was really fun to make this, will give you a better understanding of why it's so important. So this egg right here represents you or your child without vaccines. This here box represents the protection you have through your immune system without vaccines. We're gonna put this guy right in there and then we're gonna throw him over this ledge right here. It's about three stories up. And we're gonna see if your immune system can actually beat the disease without the vaccine. You can see his face, he's not really happy because he knows what's coming. So let's put him right here in the box. Oh, he's sitting right in there. Close it up nice. Maybe that will protect him, I don't know. And bottom line is, we're going to throw it over. Well, it looks like the immune system wasn't enough. He wasn't protected. Look what happened. That's unbelievable. Look at the fall he took. Now let's go see what happens if this guy was vaccinated. So now we're on the back of the, we're back on top of the ledge now, and we're going to see what happens when a person is vaccinated. This is you or your child here. Same scenario as before, the egg represents you or your child. This time you can see he's smiling because he does know what's going to happen. This box still represents the protection you're going to get through your immune system. But here, this time, we have a cushion, which represents the protection you get from vaccines. So we're going to open this box up right here. I'm going to put in the vaccine or the, the towel here. Get him nice and good in his nest right there. Really excited. Then we're going to close it up. And this time we're going to tape it shut to make sure nothing happens. This is also protection given by the vaccine. The distance he's going to fall is the same. Let's see what happens. Up, oh, we see our first guy right there. That didn't really make it. Let's see what happened to our vaccinated individual. All right, gotta get the tape off right here. Excuse me for a second. And here we go. He's still smiling. You see how vaccines protected this guy from, from the pneumococcal infection that he got? 
He never actually got sick and he actually survived to tell the tale to his kids. So I hope you understand my little analogy that I gave. This really is the case in real life. Vaccines do make it easier for your body, much easier to deal with an infection because your body's already ready for it. I hope that you go out and get vaccinated if you haven't, and if you have kids, I hope you definitely vaccinate them too because they deserve the protection that vaccines provide. If you have any questions about vaccines, you can always check out the CDC's website. They have a lot of good information. Or you can just look online. You can look at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, their website. They have a lot of good information. And there are a lot of good scientific sources. But make sure you look at scientific sources because there's a lot of stuff floating around in the media bashing ba vaccines, which is completely false, not scientifically based. So just make sure you get vaccinated, get out there and do it. Protect the eggs, definitely. Thank you.